Climate change is a topic that doesn't seem that complicated, so why is it such a divisive issue? It's a topic our politicians squabble over, but one Australians truly care about. So the likes of David Attenborough have labelled climate change the greatest threat in thousands of years, a man-made disaster of a global scale. There's a groundswell internationally of recognising of what we're doing to the planet and, and the disaster that awaits unless we do something. Think that sounds dramatic? Well, it is. But climate sceptics will tell you it's simply scaremongering. Whether you're in the coal-fired power camp or you want Australia to move to more renewable energy sources, as it stands, Australia's current emissions target for 2030 is well below what's needed to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees. Actions taken in those next 12 years are critical in order to have a chance of keeping within that target. The impacts are wide ranging. More extreme weather events, severe bushfires, storms, droughts and heat waves. Sea level rises that lead to the displacement of millions of people. The loss of the Great Barrier Reef. The wiping out of entire animal species. Effects will be felt in farming, food security, the list goes on. The problem is, Australia is lagging behind on the issue, sitting near the bottom of the group of countries we generally compare ourselves with. Australia's target was set in 2016, following the Paris Agreement. Our aim is to reduce emissions by at least 26% below what our levels were in 2005. But that's said to be about a third of what's actually needed. And many say we're not even on track, with reports indicating our emissions figures have climbed to their highest in years. Even though Australia produces just 1.3% of emissions, we're one of the highest emitters per capita, and the Paris Agreement means the world is watching.